what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk so a couple of you guys have asked within the community over some time and i think in the comment section you know whenever we do on real videos uh, you know we talk about the marketplace content you guys have constantly asked how do you get things from unreal over to maybe your dcc app for example blender or mara and today we are taking a look at how you can get these things happening this is fairly fairly easy and you literally don't even need a video for this but you know for those who are trying to understand how these things work this is how you can get up and running with it all you need to do is select the asset which you want in this case we have a mesh so once you select the mesh you can go over to file go over to export selected and then you can choose to export these as either FBX, OBJ, STL, or T3D. So if you would like to export these as FBX, let's go ahead and change the name to Cheer and click on enter. You would notice that we have an export option. Now this export option actually allows you to export things as FBX from 2013, actually 2011, all the way to 2018. Now, something which I found out is if you're working with Blender, try as much as possible not to export as ASCII, as this in most cases doesn't open, but if you're working with Maya, this is definitely going to work. If you want to export the collision mesh, of course, you can actually turn this on to export the collision mesh, and if you have animations, you can also choose to export this. But because we don't want to export any of these things, we just want to keep them as simple as they are, we're going to hit on export. Now, this is going to export your stuff, and you'll be able to have the fbx file right over here now another thing to also look at is in case you also want to export textures so to export textures you have to go over to the folder where you have these textures and don't export materials materials are actually shaders and, and textures combined together and there is actually a video about that i'm going to link that in the description so you can check it out so materials are basically your shaders and then your textures, when they come together, depending on how you shade these things, that is the kind of material you get. So for this one, we have to go over to our textures. Now within the textures, we can select any of the textures that we want to export. And exporting these textures is as easy as selecting one of them, right clicking, go over to asset action and hit on export. This would open up a folder where you can export these with either of these file types. So for this one, we're going to save this as .tga and click on save. Now, if you want to export any of these things, these are ways that you can easily, easily get these things out. So let's take a look at how you can load these things up by trying one of them directly in Maya. So directly here in Maya, I'm simply going to drag this all the way up, drag and drop directly on your viewport. Now with that loaded, I can simply select the object and position this object where I want it to be. So let's get that right there, about a point like so. And maybe we can scale this all the way down. Press F to zoom right in, and then you can see what we have going on here. So this is how easy it is for you to get your mesh out. And one thing to also keep in mind is most of the meshes that you're going to get out are all triangulated. And then if you also export, you know, if you export the collision file, you would also notice that you have the collision overall around it. So you can now grab your object, your favorite tools, your favorite assets that you have in Unreal Engine and you can throw them directly into your scene and start creating those amazing things. And for those using Blender, of course I got you guys because right now you can open up Blender and you can go over to your file, you know, import. The reason why we're going through that route is because right now blender simply doesn't support a drag and drop that is a feature that you don't really have right now in blender so you know we have to go through file go over to import and choose to import the fbx now once we choose to do that let's look that right here now once we choose to do that select the chair object that you want hit the import button and then you have that going so you can also use this to move things around and yes this is more like it let's set this to local so we can see what we have going on and i can also move this one right over to a point like so let's also rotate this to look right there and drag this all the way down so for the shading you may also need to export the textures that has to do with this object as if you jump right over here you would also notice that it just simply comes in as the object itself now you can choose to shade these things however you want if you want to apply any form of material you want to relight this you want to do anything these things are totally up to you so this is definitely going to be about it for those asking how you can export things from unreal engine this is how you do it this is a tip and tell me what you guys think about this 
in the comment section. All of these things still apply to all of the assets that you can get on the marketplace. And in case you haven't seen the amazing content that has been released from the guys at Epic Games for this month, you should go over and take a look at those and see what you can grab for free while the offer lasts. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.